All right, my name is Patrick Smith, and I am the new lead research and development engineer here at FDF. Yeah, I can give a quick summary of what I've been up to. So for my background, I have a degree in automotive engineering from Ontario Tech University. I did the Bridgestone Racing Mechanic Program up at Mossport. I've done a 16-month internship with GM. I worked in their assembly plant for a while, which was pretty amazing, seeing sheet metal to a starting car. Uh, I have a master's in advanced motorsport engineering from Cranfield University. I spent a time down in the States working for Hendrick Motorsports as an aerodynamics engineer for their full-scale wind tunnel test program. And more recently, I was a research and development engineer focusing on aerodynamic test development at Ontario Tech University's Ace Core Research Facility. It was a full-scale climatic wind tunnel with an aerodynamic capability with a moving ground plane, as well as a bunch of uh, really cool climatic chambers, four-post shaker, semi-anechoic chamber, pretty fascinating place to work. And now I'm here, part of FDF. Gone into engineering, kind of a very similar story to everyone else. You know, started off with the Lego, building cub cars, then that kind of escalated to doing, you know, Need for Speed games, then Mario Kart, building carts in my head. It was kind of a progression that I came along with. I've always kind of been creative and developing things, kind of designing things in my own uh, in my own head, coming up with nice creative problem solving. I'm not sure when I got into aerodynamics specifically, uh, but it's, I've kind of worked my way into it. But I do know that as I've been going through school and all of my learning, everything always tended to come back to aerodynamics. You know, you'd learn about engine design and I'd be looking at flow for intakes and exhaust, or I'd be doing vehicle dynamics and looking at how I could apply aerodynamics to enhance it. And it's always kind of come back to that element. I mean, there's probably too many experiences to list. I mean, it was a pretty incredible place to work. Uh, I got to be a part of some amazing once in a lifetime experiences there. I think probably the most incredible project that I got to do was the Moving Ground Plane Enhancement Project, which was the whole reason why I came back to Canada to work on it. Uh, some amazing experiences included working with the Canadian Olympic team. Uh, I did that a few times. I also got to give back and help out with students doing final year projects and some labs, which was amazing to be able to give them the opportunity that I always wanted when I was a student. And working with some incredible customers, everything from defense to architectural, you know, human factor testing, OEMs, motorsport, you name it. I got to do it all, which was pretty amazing. And probably the most important experience out of all of it uh, was when I got to meet Joel when he came in with Scaler and I met Jack and we got talking and after about 15 minutes I think we started talking about doing drifting because we had a giant turntable at the wind tunnel and then we started talking about Josiah's Corvette I started watching those videos and you know a long time later we ended up getting connected with Josiah and I and now I'm here so it's pretty amazing that that one little meet in a wind tunnel ended up with me coming and working for FTF. I think what really drew me into to coming to FDF was getting to know Josiah's passion and his vision for this company. Uh, and it was really only after I came and toured the company and met everyone who works here and I noticed how his enthusiasm and the dedication has grown into this entire workplace. And everyone here, the whole team, they're all very passionate and enthusiastic people. And as soon as I got to know everybody, I knew that this was an opportunity I had to jump on and it's an absolute privilege to be here. It's an interesting question. Uh, I know I have some interesting ideas of how we might be able to tackle it. I'm excited to, to try and experiment. I think, I think we'll all be kind of learning together on that one. I know the, the base science is very you know, applicable, uh, but just kind of this application, I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. I think there'll be a bit of learning from Rally and Sprint Cars and other series, but very interested to kind of learn, grow, and share with the rest of the community. Drifting is a very unique sport in just the attitude and the extremity of which you create yaw angle in the vehicle. I think it is very similar, kind of as I pointed out with kind of sprint cars and rally, they do something very similar. Uh, so I'm just kind of interested in studying that flow field and seeing how different it is between the two. I think probably one of the biggest projects I'm excited to get into right away is the 2JZ uh, Corvette Drift Build. I think that's going to be an amazing opportunity for us to work together and, and kind of apply some new exciting opportunities and create some new products for the for the community. And honestly, I'm just excited to start working with the team, uh, get creative and and start working side by side with Josiah, Joel and the rest of the team and and just getting stuck in with the community and getting back to the racetrack and doing a bit of race engineering. So. I think uh, it all starts with understanding kind of his viewpoint and, and getting to know uh, how he tackles the problems the way that he does. I think it's a very unique, creative, and, and innovative way that he goes about solving these problems, and it's 
truly shown by the success of the company. And then kind of once I get to know his process and what makes this place so great, I'm definitely going to start adding in kind of my experience from test development and background and then hopefully elevating our products together. I don't have a favorite motorsport. I tend to follow Formula One, uh, but I'm mostly just a fan of the technology. I've studied everything from motocross to, you know, MotoGP, Dakar, top field drag cars, uh, you know, prototype, Le Mans. I mean, I'm just a fan of the technology. I would say just uh, go out and try. I mean, there's so many disciplines to engineering that there's always some creative problem that can be solved. Engineering is this, the creative problem solving using science, technology, and math. Uh, I would start with getting STEM products. Maybe pick up one of our trays if you're interested in automotive or you know, join a team, join a club, be a part of uh, your shop class or FIRST Robotics. If you're into motorsports, go to the track, volunteer with a team. It's a great way to get involved and kind of get to know what you're passionate about. That is a good question. I am, I definitely have a lot of stories and I could probably go on for a very long time, but I would say probably one of the more interesting ones was when we built an entire balcony in the wind tunnel. It was a, a very unique way to start my career. It was one of the first tests I did there. And uh, it was a very interesting place to work because our motto was, if you could fit it, we could test it. So it definitely made for some great work stories. So you were actually testing the balcony? To yeah, see whole balcony, dude. Like concrete slab, facade, the whole nine. And we yawed the whole thing. Just it to- didn't fall or anything. Didn't fall or anything. Up. Yeah, it stayed up, bud. <laughs> I think probably the most important thing is I'm excited to be here. Uh, I'm excited to be a part of the community and get to know everybody. Definitely bear with me, you know, I don't know if I was made for film, but you know, get your memory cards ready, Jack. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know everyone, being a part of this and uh, seeing some people out of track. <laughs>